Hey everybody, it's Chris. Uh, lots of stuff this week. Uh, I think I went to the thrift stores twice, and I uh, went yard selling both Saturday and Sunday, and had uh, had a lot of luck. Um, there's actually tons of stuff behind all that. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, get to it before the memory on my phone runs out. Uh, so let's uh, let's go over here first. Uh, uh, Jurassic Park 3, the Spinosaurus Chase game at Savers for two bucks. I think, I think that one goes for about thirty, forty dollars. Under that, I got a Wii at a garage sale for twenty bucks. It's complete. Came with a you know Wii Sports and another game. They made me take the balance board. I don't really like dealing with those. Uh, they don't sell that well and for that much. But uh, figure it out, I guess. Uh, Next to that, up there, I got two Lego sets. Uh, it was part of this $80 deal that I made. Um, I think they both go for about 50 Next to that, uh, there's a game called Snorta. I've probably showed it to you before. Um, it's come down a bit over the past uh, year or so. Um, a $25, $30 game right now. It might go up around Christmas. We'll find out. Under that, I got uh, the Rock Band 2 uh, bundle. Uh, sealed part of that eighty dollar deal, um, so it's it's never been opened. Uh, still had a little bit of Christmas wrapping on it. Um, should be able to get somewhere between three and four hundred um, with Rock Band Four coming out. That might not be accurate. Uh, we'll find out. Um, but most of the sealed bundles for any Rock Band or Guitar Hero go for about three or four hundred dollars. This is something I don't think I've ever shown you guys before. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Disc. Uh, it, uh, it's a toy that you play a card game on, um, if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I think I paid like 270 at uh, Goodwill. Uh, this goes for about 150 to 200 bucks. Um, this one's probably closer to 150. Stickers are peeling a bit. It's a little worn here and there. But uh, it works great. Lights up. Um, Definitely look out for this. It's definitely an easy thing to spot in the toy section. Over here, I just got a little puzzle sealed. Um, not too sure how much it goes for. Uh, usually a sealed puzzle you can get $25, $30 for, for the bigger number and the, um, the decent brand like Ravensburger. Next to that, I got a sealed copy of Gestures at a yard sale for a dollar. I already sold that for 30 Got another Lego set. Uh, the box is pretty beat up, but I only paid three bucks. It's sealed. Goes for about fifty, sixty bucks. Down there, I got four little bags of uh, my uh, Littlest Pet Shop uh, figures. Uh, I've sold a few in the past before. I sold some for my sister. Um, I think I sold a few that I acquired randomly. Uh, some of them can be worth a decent amount of money. Um, a lot of them aren't, but uh, you can bundle them together. I'd say, uh, what I spend, two ninety nine a bag. So this four bags. Uh, I'll probably still make around eighty, a hundred bucks on those, uh, without looking through them. Uh, over here, just like a beat up ink. Um, I think I already sold it for forty. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um, I bought a couple weights, uh, not to sell, but just to just to use while I'm watching TV. Uh, a little Sony. Cassette player, I think I paid like a buck at a yard sale. Um, I don't know, I paid a dollar at uh, this random thrift store that's like sometimes open. I think this one goes for about 40. Uh, next to that, so PlayStation 1, paid 15 bucks, came with the following games. I haven't tested any of them. Uh, the reason I bought it is because Crash Bandicoot, uh, easy $20. Um, Tigger's Honey Hunt. Uh, racing Adventure, uh, Land Before Time Racing Adventure, uh, Shrek Treasure Hunt, Elmo's Number Journey, Emperor's New Groove, Jungle Book, <laughs> Teletubbies, uh, Blue's Clues something, and uh, Winnie the Pooh Preschool something. Um, so mainly bought it because it had Crash Bandicoot and uh, PS One's about thirty thirty five bucks. It came with uh, like three AV cables actually, two memory cards, 
um, power cord. Uh, haven't tested it, but if it works, should be able to get um, 30, 35, maybe even 40 close to Christmas. Um, up here, got a Game Boy Advance SP. Paid $15. Uh, it's one of those half and half special editions. Um, doesn't actually go for much more than um, any of the other ones. It's about uh, 50 bucks. Next to that's the TI-85 and a TI-86. I got uh, one at Savers for $2.99 and one at a yard sale for 5 uh, Under that, I got um, two PSPs. This is a PSP 1000 to PSP 2000. I think the battery on the 1000 is shot, but the 2000 works great. Uh, the 2000 is about 80 bucks. Um, the 1000 is about 70 with the charger. I'll have to buy a battery. Obviously, I think those run about 10 bucks. Um, and then this was the one game, it's just Burnout Legends. Um, got a tape. I think I paid a quarter. A yard sale. Um, this is one of the decent ones. I think this is good. Five to ten bucks on this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's no Amazon listing for it, so I'm going to have to go through eBay. I uh, paid $2.50 for a Wii Classic Controller Pro. Um, these go for about 20 bucks. I'll jump around over here. Got another sealed iPod Shuffle at uh, the same savers I got the one last week at. $19.99 again. Should be about 50, 60 bucks on that. I also got a Fitbit. Um, this was 40 bucks. I think these ones go for about 80. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I have uh, the Flex. So um, I probably won't switch over to this. I'll probably end up selling it. Uh, if it was one of the nicer ones that's also a watch, I'd consider switching. Right here, this was a, this was a unique find. I was asking about cameras. Um, he said he didn't really have any, and then when I was walking away, I noticed this, um, just like in a box of shoes. Um, so as you can see, it's a Sony, uh, I think it's Veil, right? Um, it's a laptop, actually. Um, uh, I paid five bucks. Uh, if it wasn't broken, I would get 450 but unfortunately, the screen's kind of messed up. Uh, I don't think it's something I can fix. Uh, came with a charger, though. Uh, I think the charger and the charging stand and stuff, uh, they both work fine. Um, I could sell those individually and this for parts. I think I could still make $100 off of this, um, which is great. So if you ever see a box of shoes, you know, check for laptops in it. Uh, let's see. Next, uh, I found a bag of HeroScape stuff at Savers. It was, um, it was $5.99. Um, missing a few pieces, but uh, I had some extra stuff, and I managed to complete, um, you'll see the box over there, uh, Rise of the Valkyrie uh, Master Set, besides the box and the instructions, but besides that, everything else is there. Um, so that was a great find, $5.99 should get it about 80 I think, without the box. So then part of that uh, $80 deal uh, was... Some more HeroScape stuff. Um, so you can see, I got a ton of figures. This isn't even all of them. Um, got the sparkly water tiles. Got a box uh, full of terrain. Um, tons of expansions. I would say, uh, I would say anywhere from three to five hundred dollars in expansions. Um, still have to go through quite a bit of those. Um, here, this stuff came with the red Wii, um, it's matching controller, the wires, um, and then, uh, three more Wiimotes, three more nunchucks, uh, should be able to get about a hundred bucks on the red Wii, PlayStation 2, for those 20 bucks at a local thrift, um, still selling those for about 50 bucks, uh, so behind that, got a red Dungeons and Dragons box, I uh, paid $1.99 at Savers next to that specific theater of operations. That was also $1.99 at Savers. Uh, should be able to get about, I think, 40 bucks on the red box. It used to go for about 80 or 90 last time I had one. Uh, it's actually missing the cards, so uh, actually probably significantly less. But uh, Pacific Theater of Operations is unpunched. The box is a little beat up, but um, otherwise good. Uh, over here, got Castle Risk. 
It's also dollar ninety nine at Savers. Um, still going for about thirty five bucks on that. Uh, under that, I got an HP thirty six A sealed uh, toner cartridge. It's already sold for fifty bucks. And then um, got a ton of Polaroid stuff this weekend. Uh, first uh, as a two thirty. Paid six bucks for that in a state sale, and a Polaroid Super Shooter Plus that was also six bucks came with a carrying case, and a bunch of these little flash cubes. It's probably one of the best finds. It was a cool cam. It's the pink and gray version. Uh, it's worth about twice as much as the red and black version. Um, came with the matching bag, which is great. It barely looks used, um, and then. Another camera I'd never gotten before is a uh, Green Impulse. Usually it's a uh, gray, with a little bit of red or pink on it, but um, this is completely green. Um, definitely worth a bit more than the regular Impulse. Uh, I think of about forty on this one, maybe. Got a Sun. Uh, it's probably a few bucks at a yard sale. Um, pretty much every yard sale I went to over the weekend was like, yeah, we have a Polaroid camera, so. Uh, I think it was seven bucks on this one. It was a dollar on this one, and uh, I paid five or four dollars on that one. Uh, this I got at the thrift store uh, during the week. I paid ten bucks. Um, I'm out of um, film for the SX70, so I can't really test it. Uh, but this one, you know, consistently goes for about eighty, ninety bucks. Uh, the impulse came in one of these. Um, 50th anniversary bags, which usually has a Polaroid Sun Bicentennial, I believe. Um, actually, that's a different camera. So uh, it was a 50th anniversary. I think it also might be a Sun. Um, but the impulse came in this. Uh, this bag, I think I've sold before for about 20 bucks. Yeah, so tons of Polaroids this weekend. And then uh, we'll move on over to the games. I'll go through this stack before I get to the Game Boy stuff. Um, Wii Sports, uh, I think that came with the Red Wii. Got Mega Man X4 for a buck at another yard sale. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, this came with that $80 deal I mentioned. Game Party 2 came with the boxed Wii. Um, Wii Fit came with uh, the Red Wii. Got Wii Sports Resort with the Red Wii. Um, then, uh, Go to these two first. These I got at uh, Goodwill for two two dollars and seventy cents each. Just Champions of Norath and Battlefront One. Then a yard sale I got Battlefront Two, and uh, these right here for ten bucks. Uh, GameCube memory card, Frogger, Kirby, Nightmare Dreamland, uh, Zelda Four Swords, uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Frogger's Adventure. Um, I was just going to buy uh, these, but um, he was like, just take these. I don't want them anymore. I think, uh, I think these actually might have also been with it. Uh, SpongeBob Super Sponge and Eminem's Blast. And then at another yard sale, as you can see the Game Boy there, I paid $5 for uh, that Game Boy in these following games. Um, Actually, I'm going to show you these real quick. Just E.T. and then like Monster Truck Quad Fury that came with the uh, Game Boy Advance over there. Uh, so back to the $5 bag. Um, came with Castlevania Circle of the Moon, uh, Spy vs. Spy, Power Rangers, uh, Pac-Man for Game Boy Color, Star Wars, and Spider-Man. And then uh, probably the best games in there. Uh, Donkey Kong. Pokemon Yellow, and Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Uh, and that was it. Um, so, great bunch of finds this week. Um, I'm probably actually missing something that's hidden back here. But, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, see everybody next week. Bye.